Vincent. I'm um, the, the co-founder and the, the CEO of uh, two nice babies in the crowdfunding world. The first one, which is called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, that some of you might know. Uh, we launched this platform two years ago. Um, it works on the re re reward-based system. We've been collecting already five millions uh, of euros on this platform for more than 3,000 projects. And we did launch last Tuesday another platform called Hello Merci, which is a platform based on another system called peer-to-peer -peer lending. It means that instead of giving money to the project, you are lending money to the project. Okay, so this is, let's say, two, two examples of the crop crowdfunding world. And I um, came here today to give you some, some messages about crowdfunding to, to try to, to have a discussion with you maybe about what it means really and what you've got behind our platforms. Um, the philosophy of crowdfunding is quite easy. It's where people are financing projects uh, by giving or lending money directly to each other, as, as you already know. Um, I had a nice film for you explaining how it works in ages, but the, I mean the, the room is not done really for that because it's too much light, so we'll do without the video today. Um, so what about crowdfunding? I mean, it comes along since maybe five, six years, really. It started in a, when we tried in 2008 to raise some money for Kiss Kiss Bank Bank. I mean, most of the people were meeting at that time at the same word on the mouth all the time, which is quite difficult for us at that time. It was an utopia. Most of the people we met think that crowdfunding was only maybe fashionable for a few projects, but that it will never be a real market. It was not so many years ago, it was in 2008. And thanks to some, I mean, to the pioneers of the market that you might know, especially Kiva, Zopa, Kickstarter, Celeben, or Kiss Kiss Bang Bang too was really the, the pioneer in Europe. And, and many others, little by little. I mean, the, the market right now has grown really, really, really fast. Uh, in 2012, so three, four years after the big rumors about Utopia, we already uh, worldwide collected more than close to three billions of dollars on more than 500 platforms. So I mean, this year, in 2012, for everybody, I mean, this Utopia, little by little, just became uh, a reality. This is the map where you can see the split in a uh, different market. You see that 60% that of the market is in North America, 30 in Europe, and the rest which is spreading out a little bit everywhere in the world with, a, of course, a huge domination of America uh, and Europe. In 2013, which is this year, so it's a prediction, um, the market will double maybe, a little bit more than double. Really. It's gonna be between five uh, six billions of dollars, and the numbers of platforms should be around 800, according to the numbers we've got today, so it might be bigger than that. But as you see, I mean, this, this utopia, after became, uh, becoming, sorry, a reality, just became really a real market. Now. You all know Forbes magazine. I mean, those guys are predicting for 2020, 100 billions of dollars collected, on our platforms, I don't know exactly in 2020, of course, how many platforms will be on the market, but it will be huge, I think, at that time. And uh, I think really, with that numbers, we can see and we can give a really huge contradiction to the people we are talking about four or five years ago. Really, crowdfunding is not a utopia, that's for sure. That's a really a philosophy and phenomenon which is growing really, really fast and, uh, and, and really, really big time. Most of the time, after the utopia rumors, uh, people now are thinking about miracles. Because of course, after something which is not understandable, you replace this first thing by another thing which is not understandable. So, and uh, people tell us today, but how come with this big world crisis, how come that people start to give money to each other or to, l to lend money to each other so easily? It means that uh, the philanthropy is going through the world really, really fast and that the world is really, really changing and it's miracle and it's fantastic. So you see, I mean, we've been really, really through the, a really bad time trying to grow five years ago to something today which is uh, uh, it's a fashionable phenomenon uh, which media and brands today love to talk about. But there's no miracle really in crowdfunding. I mean, we didn't 
make the planet or the humanity better than what it was five, five years ago. We just create something that uh, some people don't see behind the crowdfunding platforms and the huge numbers we give. I mean, it's a simple tool. I mean, when you've got a project before our platforms, it was, you did like, like everybody. I mean, you come to a bank, of course, most of the time the bank says, okay, we don't have money for this kind of project. And then suddenly you go and try to reach the only people you know who are supposed to give you money in this case, these people which are friends and family. And then you start to pitch and then you make one lunch or two lunches and three dinners and you talk to people one by one and then it's a nightmare because people don't trust you so much, they don't believe uh, so much in your project because either it's new or, or, or simply because it's not visible and then it's a nightmare and it's really complicated. And the first uh, um, reality of crowdfunding platform, that's its tools which makes your life much easy to collect some money in your first circle. And behind there is no miracle, it's only a tool because when you are visible on our platforms, then suddenly you are credible. And when you are pitching people by sending away the, the, your project from your page, then suddenly it's quite easy for, for the people you know to share also this project. And then little by little, when you really, really work hard on your first circle, thanks to the social networks, thanks to the buzz we'll have uh, outline, offline, sorry, then the second circle uh, starts to give you, to lend money to your project. And when your money is really sexy or bankable to, let's say, to use community, I mean, you reach a third circle, which, is, which peop some people are totally unknown for you, and, and most of them don't even know the friends <coughs> of your friends. And then sometimes, and it happens, as you know, as you might know on, on some of our platforms in the world, then you reach millions of dollars. I mean, some, pro some project on our platforms collect, uh, has collected this year two million, three, five, and, and the biggest 10 million dollars on our platform. But once again, uh, no utopia for sure, but not miracle either. It's a tool that helps you to convince people locally around you, because if you can't convince somebody about the credibility, if you can't convince sorry, your first circle about the credibility of your project, there is no chance that you can convince the second circle. And as long as you do the work in a good way on the first circle, then the machine goes on directly with the tools we gi we're giving you, and then, little by little, uh, you, you, you reach your, your target. So once again, no, no miracle, it's a real work. When you want to pro crowdfund a project, you need to spend time on it, and you need to identify where your community are, uh, the, the, the size of this community, and when you start to make a cartography of this community on the first circle, then little by little you can imagine what the second circle would be, and maybe the third circle might. And then you reach those targets, and on average in the world right now, more than 50% of the project, which are on our platforms are successful. So this is the trick. Um, the good thing about the, our platform is the, the, I mean the, the, the creativity has been unleashed everywhere. We don't work only to find out the, the, the next Einstein or the next Kazavet or the next Keith Haring. I mean, the good things about this platform is that everybody, every one of us, can start to put this project on the table, whatever if the project will, might change the world or not, even if this project has only an importance for your own community, those projects, little by little, are just getting out of the bags, putting on the table, putting on, on, on those platforms, and then they're just born. And you've got today thousands and hundreds of thousands of projects which are uh, uh, every day launching on our platforms, which is really, really changing the world. As soon as you create this kind of energy, as soon as a lot of people are launching their project everywhere in the world, then you start to create something which is, for us, really the, the, real, the seed of, of changes of the world, which is this uh, optimism uh, sensation. And crowdfunding are really, really, the crowdfunding market is really, really a huge uh, optimism factory because more people you know uh, which are successful in the project, more other people will try uh, crowdfunding too. And then the machine goes on and on and on. And, and uh, yesterday, uh, we were working with our committee manager on this uh, Facebook page, you could see six crowdfunding projects. It means that in, in his environment, he has the same day, six people were launching this project, which is something really, really new, of course, and which we think makes the, the, the world change quite fast. Uh, it's 
behind the optimism, as soon as people are launching projects, uh, means that this optimism is giving self-confidence to everybody. I mean, it's linked, of course, to the optimism. So you've got optimism, self-confidence, new project, new optimism, new self-confidence, and then it grows like this, like a typhoon, and this typhoon right now is getting really, really strong, is going really, really everywhere, and every, and every side, and every camp of the planet, and of course, we're really happy about this. Uh, I mean, those, this phenomenon, this typhoon of new energy and, and optimism is based on uh, two things. It's based on empathy and sharing. Most of the platforms uh, that we know around the world are non-profit platform or non-speculative platform, meaning that people are just giving money to make sure that those projects are seen by everybody and to make sure that maybe one day you can launch your own project. So it's a phenomenon which is based only for most of the market on, em on empathy and to make sure that this energy is sharing by everybody all over the world, which is completely new, of course, because lately and basically we think that when money is involved, of course, you need to get a financial return about this money. And crowdfunding is proving today, uh, of course, that the, the main return that we are all expecting right now from the world is an emotional return, really far away from financial return. If you take the average uh, donation or the, av the average uh, lending movement of this platform, you are around, let's say, between $50 or $200, meaning that you've got two options. Either you give or you lend this small amount of money to somebody which will be, might be successful with this project, or you keep it in your bank. And I mean, this money, 50 or 200 dollars, will never bring you any money back as a sp speculative money. So once again, I mean, the thing is, is turning around everywhere. I mean, the best solution to have uh, um, a return from this small amount of money is to give it to somebody or to lend it to somebody to make sure that you get the emotional return uh, behind it. And that's what happens everywhere. Uh, the message behind it, it's simple, is that we could spend so many uh, hours to tell you about the, the, the about this phenomenon and all the, the histories we've got daily on our platforms, uh, stories which are really, really high in social contact, social impact, and, and it's the, the message behind it is really, really strong. I mean, we need, and those platforms are helping everybody, we need to believe in ourselves, we need really to change the world to live liberate everywhere this, this uh, creativity and by liberate, liberating this creativity things will change all over the place and finally finally we really really change the world and you all know this phenomenon the sharing economy all this 3d uh, industry which is growing uh, everywhere which are really disruptive uh, for every segment of the economy everywhere it's only the beginning I'm quite happy to see so many people here to talk and to hear about the sharing economy because it's not a fashionable phenomenon. It's not something close to the uh, 70s as a anti-culture as, as we knew it like 50 years ago. It's something really, really deep that you need to believe in and, and especially you need to be part of it. So once again, liberate your, your creativity and believe in your project. Thank you very much.